So recently Xtool released the S1, which led tons of people in the community to ask, well, if it's a 40 watt diode laser and I've got the D1 40 watt diode laser, what's the difference and is it worth the upgrade? So in this video today, I'm gonna try my best to help you decide if you need to be using the Xtool S1 or the Xtool D1. So the first thing I wanted to start with are the similarities between the D1 and the S1. Let's just get those out of the way really quickly so we can get to the differences because I know that's exactly why you're here. The D1 and the S1 can both operate the RA2, so if you're doing tumblers or anything circular, you can continue to do that if you go ahead and upgrade to the S1. Because the S1 is a diode laser just like the D1 series, any materials that you have been doing with the D1, you can do with the S1. I was making leather patch hats with my D1 Pro and I've already made several with my S1. On top of leatherette and wood, they both handle acrylic and slate with no issues as well. Here's also a good look at the engraving difference of the S1 40 watt module and the D1 40 watt module. The S1 is on the left and the D1 is on the right, and the one on the right is a little bit lighter, and that literally could be accredited to the fact that the D1 module needs to be cleaned. Speaking of materials, just to let you in on the best kept secret, this is Hyde Bond Leatherette. I've been using this for a while now and I absolutely love this stuff. Recently I went to Hyde Bond's website, ordered a five pack of these leatherette sheets that are pre-pressed with the adhesive on them. It makes life super, super easy and they fit perfectly inside of your S1. They're almost no scraps if you lay down one of their 12 inch by 24 inch sheets in your machine which is really really important to me that's why I have the last piece of hide bond laying around because I'm, I'm gonna use it I promise I'm gonna get something out of that last little piece right there both lasers can run Lightburn and obviously the XCS software which is Xtool's own software both the D1 and the S1 offer a 2 watt infrared laser head a 20 watt laser module and a 40 watt laser module while the D1 Pro actually has a 10 watt laser module but if it's up to me I'd suggest that you just skip that one altogether and go straight for more power Now let's get into what makes them different because that's the most important conversation that we could be having in reference to price it's kind of hard to give you a good accurate fair price because the S1 has all kinds of deals going on right now, early bird specials and things will change a little bit, but as of right now, as I'm making this video, you can get a D1 Pro with the 40 watt laser for $17.99. And a base price S1 right now is $18.99. If you want the riser and other things that'll get a little bit more expensive, the package that I have is about $2,500. The engraving area on the D1 is 430 by 400 millimeters, and on the S1 it is 498 millimeters by 313. You are losing a little bit of space, but if you get the conveyor feeder, you can engrave up to 3,000 millimeters with the pass-through feature. So the S1 doesn't really suffer in reference to engraving area. With the D-series lasers, if you needed to engrave something that was a little bit bigger, you could order these riser feet, and you could attach as many as you want and lift your laser all the way up above your head if you needed to. With the S1, you can buy this riser base. It's kind of built to be lifted off of your table already. If you get the riser base, it has several little tray slots in it that you can put your tray and pull your material away from the laser head. The speed of the D1 series is 400 millimeters per second, which is pretty good, but the speed of the S1 is 600 millimeters per second, so that's even better. They both have different ways of focusing. With the D1 series, it has this little kickstand. You bring it down to your piece, and then you can unscrew and manually set your laser head to be focused off of your piece. The S1 is filled with all kinds of technology. All you have to do is click the autofocus button in your software. It goes down, identifies where your piece is, and then it levels itself out. That is a great, great feature, and I think that's something that should be in every laser going forward. If you did happen to be interested in either one of these machines, the S1 or the D1, Excel's putting on a Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale starting today and lasting all the way up until the 30th. So if you're gonna buy one, buy one right now because you get a better deal. Let's talk about the footprint of these lasers. The D1 is 23 wide by 24 deep by three and a half inches tall. The S1 is 30 inches wide by 22 inches deep and 11 inches tall if you have the riser base. I think about seven if you don't have the riser base. Here's a fun little size comparison for perspective. This is my D1 Pro on top of the S1. Safety is one of the most important things that you need to be thinking about when you get a laser. The threat isn't just sawdust or being nicked by a blade. The threat is fire and smoke inhalation. So you have to take safety super, super serious. The D1 has a fire detection sensor on the laser module and it will automatically shut itself down if it senses fire, which is fantastic. But the S1 has five sensors inside of it, four in the body of the laser and one in the head of the laser, that if it senses any sort of fire or any spark or anything like that, it shuts down what it's doing immediately. And while we're on the topic of safety and smoke, because the S1 is an enclosed system, 
It has an absolute magnificent smoke removal process. For the most part, while I'm running this laser, I don't smell any smoke at all, and I can direct it straight out my window, and I won't have to deal with the smell. While I was running the D1 in the past, I'd have to open up the windows to my shop, start the process, put a respirator on, or hang out outside the shop, which is a little obnoxious. Because the D1 doesn't have an enclosure, it can't contain the smoke and remove it, and you have to wear safety glasses while using it, which with the S1 you don't because it has a clear cover that protects you from laser light, which is awesome. Most people in the laser community are building enclosures for their D1s, which is definitely something that you can do if you're using it indoors. There's plastic that you can order that will protect you from the laser light, and there's also all kinds of exhaust fans that you can add into your closure if you're building one. For me, the air assist is one of the biggest differences in the D1 and the S1. With the D1 system, you just turn it on, and a lot of folks don't even know when or why to use their air assist. The air assist with the S1 system is fully automated. If you plug it into your machine, put it on auto mode, it'll turn on whenever it needs to, which is most of the time when it's cutting, and turn off when it's not needed. After I posted my first video covering the S1, I realized I'd missed a talking point. And it's one of the most important things that the new laser and software offer. It's twin point positioning. To utilize this new feature, all you have to do is click start marking, position your laser where you want your top left corner to be, hit your switch on the machine, then position your laser where you want your bottom right corner to be, press your button on your machine. Then in your software, you'll know your exact engraving area and you can place your image inside that engraving area so you get the exact perfect engraving. This is a really cool feature and I'll definitely be using it all the time. I think the D1 and the S1 series lasers are both all around great lasers. If you're on a budget, go with the D1. If you want something that's a totally enclosed laser that you're gonna use forever, use the S1. If you have to do larger stuff at craft shows, buy the D1. If you sell solely online and you're gonna be sitting at a desk all day pumping out stuff, buy the S1. Either way, I'm very happy with both of the lasers and I'm keeping both of them, if that tells you anything. If you're interested in either one of these lasers, I'll have links for them in the description of this video. If you happen to buy one of these lasers with one of those links, it'll give me a little bit of kickback, so I really appreciate that. That's putting diapers on my son's butt, all right? I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you watched this video and thought to yourself, man, that was so good, how can I give this guy money to repay him? Then you're in luck. I have a lot of stuff listed on my Etsy store that you can buy to support the channel. So head on over to reformationwoodshop.etsy.com to grab something.